Hi everyone, my name is Moin and I am going to be going through with how to treat the unique row IDs by using SSIS. This was a question which was raised at work today and I think it would be good if we just go through it. Right, so let's get started. I've got the source data set over here which is basically a flat file. It's a CSV actually. And it's got different data in there. One is the integer based data and the other ones are the varchars characters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna minimize this. I'm gonna go to my SQL server. I'm going to create a table. Just to let you know that my teeth is really killing and I will not be speaking too much so sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, we've got these fields in there which pretty much map to the schema apart from the row ID which we're gonna get automatically on the fly. I'm gonna execute it, it's gonna be there. So if I go select start from populate nothing, that's fine. Right, now I've got my Bid Studio launched up. So what I'm going to do is create a new project, integration services project, and I'm going to call it Populate UAD. I'm going to rename the package as Here we go, and what I'm going to do next is use a sequence container just to group them logically. And I'm going to use data flow task in there, which I'm going to call Next, I would need the data sources, so I'm going to create a new data source. And I've already got the scrappers over here, which is this database. And should I've got the tables now? Excuse me, yeah, there they are, the tables. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to new, just to show you how this is done. Gone. Save the password and I'm gonna name it as Scrappers Test the Connection. It says Scrappers Connection is easy. Click on OK and click on OK again. Yeah, it's already saved, so it's not gonna be there. Anyway, I'm gonna name it as dbcon Scrappers. This is our destination, so. Right, next I'm going to add this connection to our package. So I'm just going to click on new connection and I'm going to click on OK. There it is. Right, in terms of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in there. The connection will be there as well. I'm going to use a flat file source, which is going to be if I double click on it. It's got no source yet. I'm going to click on new and I'm going to Excuse me. Type it as C. Browse and the yeah, I can't say anything. I'm just gonna choose it to CSV, double click on it, just pick it up, go to the columns. Yes, we are almost there. Go to advanced and I'm gonna rename these columns to let's say ID Right now I'm gonna change the data type of ID back to signed in 
integer let's say 4 byte sign integer and same I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna change them to 100 I'm gonna change this to 100 as well please do remember that whatever SSIS is taking it's gonna take only in terms of a string not an integer so you have to map the columns manually over here if I look on the data there you are bravo everything is sorted I'm gonna click on OK I'm gonna click on preview same thing columns everything is selected click on OK and next I'm gonna do is add a script component so I've got my script component it will be a transformation call it as Find it, save it, just gonna connect it with this, go through this, input columns I'm gonna choose all of them and whatever is input is by default the output as I said before in my blog as well. I'm just gonna add an output column with the name of and I'm gonna change its data type to unique identifier. That should do it pretty much go to the script edit the script it will open it in the VA UL studio script editor and if I just build it build now rows dot this is the only thing which I need to change so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign it the output column a value of new GUID actually that should be done and now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna come out of it click on OK click on save and now I need the outputs so I'm gonna use an OLEDB destination just call it I'm gonna connect this to my live data source but before that just give it the input Alright, if I double click on it, it will show me the table. If I go to the mappings, it's got these ones. Right, so I have just mapped the columns. If I click on OK, it should be done. Now if I run this package, first let's see if you have any data in there, nope don't have anything in there. Let's go run it. And bravo! Voila! I think we've got no errors. Nope. Which is pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is just look on through this. I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna go to my SQL server which I've loaded and check what's happening here. Right and there you are. You've got your row UIDs. Now you can feel free to play with them or do whatever you want to do them. Do with them. And I think I'm gonna look for a dentist and I'll catch you in a bit then. Thank you.